find a harmonic conjugate of u equals e to the x sine y. So solution. So we're being asked to find a harmonic conjugate of u. So that means we need a function v such that f, which is equal to u plus iv, is analytic. So in other words, we need the Cauchy-Riemann equations to hold and the partials of u and v to be continuous. The continuity shouldn't be a problem in this problem. So we just have to make sure that the Cauchy-Riemann equations hold. Before we do that, let's go ahead and compute the partials of u and v. So del u del x is equal to, well, let's see, we're treating y as constant. So this is simply e to the x sine y. And then del u del y, now we're treating x is constant, so the derivative of sine is cosine. So this is e to the x cosine y. Now let's go ahead and write down the Cauchy-Riemann equations. So we need u and v to satisfy the Cauchy-Riemann equations. So we need del u del x to be equal to del v del y. We also need del u del y to be equal to negative del v del x. Let's carefully write down what this means for us in terms of v. So we have del v del y, del v del y, and we want that to be equal to del u del x. Well, here is del u del x, so this should be equal to e to the x sine y. And we also want del v del x. Let's see what this is. Well, del v del x is going to be the opposite of del u del y. We can simply multiply by negative 1. So that should be equal to negative e to the x cosine y. So negative e to the x cosine y. Now we're going to use these two partial derivatives to find the unknown function v, and we'll be done. How this works is you basically pick any one you like. Let's take this one. And then you integrate. So here we have the partial of v with respect to y, so we're going to integrate with respect to y. So integrating with respect to y, we get to ignore the e to the x. And the question is, what's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, negative cosine. And since we integrated with respect to y, we have to add an unknown function of x. I'll call it little g of x. So we've used this first condition. Now we have to use this one. In order to use this, we have to find the partial of v with respect to x. So now we're going to differentiate. So del v del x is equal to, well, the cosine is constant in this case. So this is minus e to the x cosine y plus g prime of x. So now we've computed del v del x, but over here we have del v del x as well. So now we set this equal to del v del x, so minus e to the x cosine y. We can add this to both sides, and so we get little g prime of x is equal to 0. And integrating this with respect to x, we get a genuine constant, which we can call c. So the final answer is v of xy equals this piece here, so minus e to the x cosine y plus our constant c. And that is the harmonic conjugate of u. I hope this helps.